You know, I love to throw a football jig. There's so many different presentations you can make with this football jig, so many different, you know, it's a great smallmouth bait. It's a great spotted bass bait. It's great largemouth. It's awesome on the Tennessee River. It's awesome at, on Beaver Lake, Table Rock Lake, the lake I live on, Lake Washita. There's so many things you can do with it. But I've got a couple of things that I like to do first before I ever pick it up and throw it. One of them is, to me, the trailer is everything on a football jig. I love my trailer to be the, you know, to be the main focus as I'm throwing it. So what I'll do is I'll go in, I kind of trim this jig down pretty good. I, uh, I take all my football jigs and I kind of separate this rubber at the band here. I take and I pull my, I pull my top band right here up. I get it pretty tight here, not real tight, but just about a finger's grip over the top of that. And I go in, pair of scissors, cut it off. Then I turn right back around. That gives it a good high fluffy collar there for even more action. Then I'll go in here at the bottom and I'll trim this skirt just, just right there about the bottom of the hook. So now I've got a nice compact, a lot of action to it, you know, as far as the skirt wise goes, great action to the bait. So then I come in and I'll pick out whichever trailer I want to throw, which here I'm throwing a twin tail grub on the back. I come in, I put that twin tail on, and when I do, see, I've got that skirt up here, all this action in the rubber and everything, but yet, look how much of the trailer I've got hanging below it. So much more action in that trailer. So much more action in the bait, period. So that just, that right there just is the way I like to throw it. I'm also the same way on it as I am on any jig. I always take a pair of pliers, I'll go in and I'll open that hook up just a little bit, raise that point up just a little bit. It's always gonna help on your, on your hookups, I mean always. And uh, you know, those are basically the things I like to do with it. I have two different patterns that I, that I throw on a, you know, fish a football jig. One of them is I'll throw it out, depending on what kind of area I'm in. If I've got a small uh, strike zone, the water's really cold or whatever, and a, I'll, I'll take that jig and I'll drag it. I'll drag it real slow, try to fill every single rock with it. Then I'll reel back around, start dragging again, slow stopping it and doing different things with it. But if I'm in an area that the fish are really active, um, especially you know in that late March time, early April, right before these fish really go to spawning, I'll take this jig and I'll, I'll never stop it. I'll throw it, let it hit bottom, and I'll reel it the whole entire time. And I'm basically, you can say, swimming it because I have got it on the move all the time, but I'm also fishing it slow enough that I'm feeling every single rock as I'm reeling this bait. And that's another great thing for having that point bent up just a little bit, like I said, on hookups because those bites sometimes are ferocious. I mean, you may feel a light peck and he may have done came 15 feet towards you with it. So, you know, being able to have uh, every, uh, every advantage you can to get that great hook up, you need to do it. And that's my favorite way to fish a football jig.